I have a disease and it's called something like mini pizza box phobia or something. I eat, sleep, drink mini pizza boxes. And I think they're the coolest thing. I hope they carry them over because I think there's a zillion things you can do with them. But um, I started off with, of course, our mini catalog. So I was kind of playing around with that. So I'm just going to kind of show you some of the different things we did. I'll start over here with the Halloween. I put the box in the back and then I took out. On this one, I did a little game where I punched out a bunch of cats. And they're black on the back. And then, you know the little memory game the kids do? And you gotta match up the DSP. Huh. So, and let me tell you the trick to that. Don't do what I did. I punched out all my black cats. And then I had to punch out all my other ones and make a match, and they didn't match perfect. So, if you use that um, stick em stuff we have, the Sizzix stick em stuff, and you put black on one side, and then cut, cut you some of your little DSPs the size of your cat and stick all over there and then punch those out, it will be a lot easier. Okay, then the second one, we use the little gate and that the gate just fits perfect on that box and you just wrap it right around the flaps and tape it down, stick it down. And um, in that one, I put a cookie cutter instead of a cookie inside. so they can make one inside. Right, so they can make their own cookie. <laughs> it was a lot less time for me. Okay. Now you could give them that with a little cookie mix if you wanted to be nice. Or you could fill up one of our little test tubes with some little candies that you put on top of cookies or whatever. Anyways, okay. Then this one right here, you know that cute paper that has the little 12 or 16 of those little thingies on there? Um, what I did was I made a little game out of it. So all of them, have something a little bit different, but they're the same. So you have to match up the two that go together. And my husband couldn't hardly do it. I just loved it. Uh-uh-uh, honey, his beak is colored in on that one, and it's not on this one. So anyways, that was really fun. OK, we'll move over here to Christmas. This was the simplest, but probably the most expensive, because I used one of our little ornaments. I used a sprig, and then I made little Oh, they're stuck to the metal here. Magnets, little refrigerator magnets Cute. with our little stitched things. But man, it was fast. So if you needed a little gift for somebody fast. Now this one right here, I wanted to show you what it looks like on the outside. You slide the little thing off and there you have our little nativity. Isn't that cute? They really like I love that, that one. <laughs> Okay, so, and then over here we have our little Santa, so that's the outside, and then inside it, oh, I knocked, oh, I knocked all my reindeer off. I have nine little reindeer, because I have to have Rudolph in here, he's on the floor here, and we'll have him out, so I have the little reindeer, a couple of trees, and then I did our little sleigh, and this is what I did to our Santa, I made him He's not under there. I just glued all the clothes together. OK? And then I didn't like the back, so I cut some red ones out and stuck it on the back. <laughs> but anyways, and then the little sleighs got the little framelits, the little things. I cut out a little out of the paper so the kids could play with it. It's just, you know, I got all these grandkids, and they love this kind of stuff. So, And then this is my uh, little window box. And that was so dang simple. Okay, I have to be honest, I did not like this stamp set. And I, I didn't buy it. And then I looked at it and go, oh, that would make a cute little window box. So I had to buy it. And I just stamped it on the box, and I took an X-Acto knife and just cut out the middle and stuck it inside. Yeah. That was, that's it. So, and we used your little, that little paste stuff with some glitter to add a little bit of snow on that. You could add some little 3D things in there if you wanted to. But. OK, and then this one right here, there's the outside. This is just an ornament. You know our little gold little thingy bobbers? <laughs> Doilies? Whatever they are. And you just, it goes flat, and you can just put it inside the box for that one. So you can just flip it out. There's eight doilies on here, and all I did was 
paste them back to back. You need to use your little teeny skinny little glue thing though. I'm just telling you on that one. All right. Then this one right here is a snowman on it. And all I did in that one was some hot chocolate with a candy cane. That was really simple. And notice on this one, I embossed the box. Can you see that? So I embossed it first. You just put your embossing holder right on the end. It sticks perfect through the big shot. And this was actually a really simple card. And I wanted to show you, see the snowman there? That's the back of the snowman and I made it a front. Okay, you know the oh, one that does yeah, the front and the tag. back, the yeah. tags? I didn't want to waste the backs, so I, I drew some eyeballs on there and I put some, some of our little um, black rhinestones. rhinestones for the buttons, and I, I could not draw a nose, I'm sorry. So <laughs> I cut a corner of the paper out and stuck it on there. So um, anyways, it was qu quicker to do that than to stamp a bunch of the fronts and cut them all out. Because see, I could cut two out if I used the front and the back. You know, time's a thing here. Okay, and then using our quilt set, I just did coasters with all of that chipboard we've got laying around that we can't throw away. <laughs> and I kind of did one side Christmassy and then the other side not as Christmassy, so you could kind of use it either way. All right, and then we have our deck the halls and we have a deck of cards and some dice which you can get at the dollar store very cheaply. Um, and then we have our harvest, uh, our fall one. I just put sunflower seeds in that one. And over here are, of course, little gift tags. I'll just show you really quickly the little gift tags. We did this for a little class. It was really fun. They came and just made all these. And they all fit inside the box. And then this is a gift tag right here that's on the outside of the box. Just slides. My little thing fell down bad. Okay, and I just was going to show you this one, just another little snowman, and we used your paste on that, and it was really fast and easy. And then this one, isn't that cute? So cute. Come on, that is yeah. so cute. Okay, Tanya Mass came over, and we played with this one together. And I left it in the box so you could see what was in it. Okay, so we're going to lift this off. It's our little belly band. And look what we have here. Okay, I'm gonna have to back up, ladies. We have a happy birthday banner. Isn't that cute? Fits right inside your pizza box. It's amazing what you can get in those little boxes. Okay, because when we did this banner, um, we folded over the top so you can slide this real easy. And, and then the piece we cut off at the bottom, you know, to make our little points, we glued to the tops. So you got three thicknesses of cardstock up here. Of thick cardstock, that's pretty thick. Okay, and so, but it fits in there fine if you just flip, flip flop it halfway through. Okay, you understand that? Okay, but isn't that cute? I was, I mean, you could do all kinds of fun things. We, how many birthday sets do we have in that catalog? 520? I mean, really, and to open up a little box and have a banner they could hang up, I thought that was really cute. You could do so many fun things. And you could do Merry Christmas. You could do a Christmas one that says Merry Christmas. That would be cute. So, I mean, it's endless, you guys, and I'll probably go home and won't be able to sleep because I'll think of another pizza box thing. <laughs> so, anyways, have fun with those pizza boxes, okay? Yeah.